Good evening. This is The Point of View. We are live on CTTV this and every Monday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. My name is Bernard Avila. The Point of View brings you the right guests. We ask them relevant questions and we glean some real useful insights. It's live and interactive. Hashtag is The Point of View. And we're also on Facebook at CTTVGH. We have a big issue tonight. It's a story from the ports of Ghana. And when we return, we'll tell you who our guests are and what the issues are. Don't go away. So there are many interesting terms that have been thrown at us when it comes to the ports. We have destination inspection. We have trade facilitation. We have revenue and security. We have the single window. We have the paperless port. Now there's a new animal in town. It's called CTN. What does CTN mean? And why has it angered the GIF, the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders, to the extent that they've embarked on a three-day strike beginning today? To break down the issues about the port for us tonight, I have two gentlemen. Both of them are presidents. The first one is the president of the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders, Kwabna Ofusu Apia. Kwabna, good evening. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to have you. I also have the president of the Chamber of Freight and Trade, Dennis Amfosifa. Dennis, good evening. Welcome to the show. So viewers, we want your views on these very interesting issues. Before we get into the subject, we have two very special reports for you. The first one was put together by our Tema correspondent, Elvis Washington. He visited the long room and came through with this report about the strike action. I'm here at the long room at the Tema port where freight forwarders are unhappy with the CTN. Um, and then today, they have actually declared this day as a day where no freight forwarder is actually going to pay freight. So if you come to the long room here, you can hardly see any activity going on here where a freight forwarder is actually going into a banking hall to pay freight. What is the law that mandates or that, that gives authority to the city? Because city and talks about penalties. For the best of our knowledge, when this process, when this, when a semblance of this process was, was attempted in 2015, we know there is LI-2190 back in it, but it was called up. LI-2190 is under the shippers authority okay so we are asking we answered that question there with what authority is the gra coming to town with this ctn because the issues of penalty comes in when the issues of penalty come in it is only the parliament of ghana that gives that authority uh, we are back on the, on the strike uh, concerning the ctn Mm. Yeah. So um, we, we, we we want to stop it. We don't want the, the those who are uh, interested in, in their pockets to get anything. This thing it will go to the last consumer because as we are here, we are here to stop it. You're automatically at the end of the day, it will be pushed to the last consumer. There are people behind who are doing this thing. We are very very much aware. We are very very much aware. We want to crash. Syndicate. Yes, it's a syndicate. It's like a group of people. Go to some, the, some sort of consultant, and then it's like, oh, come and push this ladder. Yeah. Making so much money. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Nothing is coming to the government. This is what people want to know. Yeah. What the director general is saying in the papers today is that city and is not going to have any, uh, uh, no importance going to pay. But that's not true. Is the long today? Freight forwarders have decided to embark on a strike of not paying duty for three days. To them, CTN policy must be scrapped, and until such time, they will demonstrate they will not pay the duty for three days to register their protest. For City News, Alvis Washington reporting from the long room at the Tema Port. So that was Elvis Washington's report from Tema. If you're watching and you are somebody who uses the port frequently, an importer or an exporter, a ship owner or a freight forwarder or a clearing agent, we'll be happy to hear from you. Send us a comment on the WhatsApp number we'll put on the screen. If you're watching on Facebook, there's a conversation going on down there. Let's hear from you. So let me start with the Kwabna. Thank you again for joining us. So Pleasure. Uh, how did you get to CTN? I, I want people to understand because for the uninitiated, mm -hmm. 
almost every year there's something new mm. last year around this time we were told that there was paperless port mm -hmm. right before that there was a single window as well mm -hmm. and then we've had the whole west blue versus gc net saga and now there's a ctn so first and foremost when we say paperless port mm -hmm. what does it mean you see before 2000 somewhere late 90s the government or the state decided to end back up on what we call the gateway project so okay. we started experimenting with interventions that was based on computer or IT uh, information technology now fast forward to 2002 the mm -hmm. Ghana Community Network came to town to provide management services for GRE. Before that, we, in international trade, when you go buy out there and you get to customs, a certain level of value assurance must be done. Value assurance simple, simply means that whatever you have gone to buy, customs must agree, you know, the price that you are going to declare here must be that price or the price payable. See, so customs, between the two, customs will decide that it is the actual price or the price payable. Now, before destination inspection, we had pre-shipment inspection where these uh, valuation assurance situations were done outside. Then we had the destination inspections come into town. We had, I think, about five of them. Uh, the, the wall was divided into uh, geographical mm -hmm. spaces. Each of them covered a certain section. What they, their mandate was to assure value. To, okay. Okay. Now, any of these assurance of value had, has a certain element of customs final say so. So customs will finally, so even if you look at the destination inspection company, when they issue the, uh, what we used to call the FCVR, that's the final classification and valuation report, there's a caveat under, which tells you that even though they have done it, it is only based on documentary proof. So customs has the final mandate because after all, they are going to physically see the items that you have brought. So whatever they say is a final. Then fast forward when technology began to improve we custom said that what the destination inspection companies were doing that is their core mandate in fact and that is true value classification and valuation is the core mandate for every customs entity the world over so the all they needed was the it uh, uh, platform for them to deliver their mandate so came in the pre-arrival assessment reporting system. So now, that's what we, we have today. All of this is a journey to actualize what we call the single window. It is a deliverable of the World Trade Organization and the kind of trade, trade environment that they want to create globally. So single window to just define it in, the, in, the, in, 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 in a very lay understanding. It's, it is actually not computer systems because you can actually have a single window arrangement in place without IT. Computer. Okay. So single window is a concept where the element of repetitive data capturing is taken out so that when you have trade documents, you realize that it has been realized that the data elements on trade documents are almost the same. But then if participating government agencies will also need those data elements, it was realized that repeat, repeatedly you will have to, the data will have to be captured whether by you going there and filling the forms all over again or using your uh, keyboard to recapture data. So the concept of single window is actually to create a system which accepts data element once. If you have to reintroduce any data element, it should be because what has written the process up to that point has not got that data element. 
So, if this is done, the expectation is that we will also reduce or eliminate the use of paper. That is how the word paperless. So, paperless port in. is a sort of the digitization of the single window, exactly. if you want. Exactly. So now you can do everything without a piece of paper. Exactly. Also, so. clarify for us, and mm -hmm. I need this foundation to be laid. Mm -hmm. We have GCNet. Mm -hmm. And then we have West Blue. Mm -hmm. I'm told GCNet does destination inspection. Mm -hmm. West Blue does valuation. Is mm -hmm. that correct? No, that is it's not correct. correct. So who does what? The pre-arrival assessment report. We, I think we should get one thing clear. GCNet is the uh, they have the Ghana Customs Management System. Okay. Okay. So the Customs Management System is a repository of all the data that has been collected onto the Customs okay. System, and the, it is managed there to do other participating government agencies pick data mm -hmm. from the, the, the GCNet system. And that's where we do the custom declaration to. The pre-arrival assessment reporting system, that is what is also managed by West Blue. And that one interfaces with the, th that, that, that is our first point of call when we want to start the process really. And it affords us the opportunity to actually um, start the documentary process even before the vessel or the aircraft arrives. Once you have your trade documents, yeah. So it is clear. What you said is correct so far. Yes, so far. Great. So what is this CTN business? Mm -hmm. CTN is um, a cargo tracking note system. I think I have to give you um, a brief history okay. so that we would all really understand what CTN is all about. Um, after September 11th, 9-11, mm -hmm. the United States government uh, introduced new protocols into the ways that cargo is uh, shipped into their country. Mm. So now, this time, they wanted to track cargo from port of loading before it gets into the United States. So uh, what the U.S. government did was to introduce a new protocol called the CSI. What it does is simple. The United States state government wants to know what you are putting into the container, the weight, and any other matter, anything that relates to that very container before it even leaves the port of loading. So before it gets to the United States, they have all the information that they need so that they can risk profile the cargo. They were, they were using it at the time for security reasons. But somewhere in 2002, I think the International Maritime Organization realized that well, the, those new protocols were, were, were chopping great success. So okay. they decided that, why don't we globalize this? Why don't we ask other member states to also find ways mm. to, to track cargo in our international waters. So at the, at the conference, they decided on so many things and invited WCO, which worldwide is mandated to do other all customs uh, jobs. Mm -hmm. There's World Custom Organization that, listen, let us discuss ways that we can track cargo on international waters before from and to. So along the line, all member states started designing platforms in which they are going to use to track cargo. Now, fast forward to CTA. It's just a simple concept. Mm -hmm. Government wants to say, listen, before the cargo gets into this country, I want to know everything there is to know about that container and commodity is carrying so that I can use it to risk manage whatever is coming. They need a, a data to, to, to know that whatever is coming, if it, is, uh, if it has any security implications, if it has any environmental implications, the classification, the value of the cargo, so that they can do proper work when the cargo comes in. So it says that, listen, there's this platform, it's a portal. From port of loading, upload all documentation about your cargo. Your invoice, your parking list and your export documentation from the port of loading onto this platform. Let me have access in this country. Let me check it. Let me see everything that I want to know about this container. Then I can even advise where to position, position that container and to be sure of the classification of the commodities that are in and to be very sure of the value. So this information is put security and revenue. 
exactly. and other things. And other things. Because so it's not just for revenue. And it is done at the port of no, departure. The, departure, of departure exactly. Fantastic. So far, so good. So that is all CTN seeks to do. Good. So that government can really know what is coming in before it comes. Good. This looks sensible. So, Kamala, why, what about this don't you like? This is very good. Right? Indeed, it looks sensible. I mean, it sounds great. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we should understand that Ghana is not an island. Mm -hmm. And these international conventions have been normed over time. Mm -hmm. That is one. Two, the World Trade Organization. You see, it is very important that when we're having the conversation, we do not stray into areas that we are not very conversant in. Now, the World Trade Organization embarked on a very long journey of establishing a framework for trade. And the world over, every country put themselves to that task. And then and we got the trade facilitation agreement. You see, the cargo tracking note is not a management system. It is a portal, I can credit the developers of the portal, a dynamic portal that has a database and a search engine. It is not a management tool. Let's get it straight. Now, if you want to, if you want to tell the story about certain expectations that the trade facilitation agreement and all other agreements have we, we, we are catching up gradually if you want to use the niceties of what these deliverables must give us if you want to say that because you can write about it that this will do this will do Hold that on. will do that what that okay mm -hmm. and this is simple thing mm -hmm. they said before the mm -hmm. ship is loaded you put information about the type of goods, mm -hmm. it is yam, mm -hmm. or it is cassava, or mm -hmm. plantain, mm -hmm. the value, mm -hmm. whatever. So that by the time it sets off, we know what to expect. Okay. It sounds very simple. So my question, what is wrong with that? Okay, what, what is wrong in, about this is this. The cargo tracking note, if I just, I just want to give a little background. In 2015, it came to town as advanced shipment information. Yes. And then we asked certain questions. We said that one. How are you going to collect this information? It is the same conversation that we are having today. CTN claims that it is going to give us accurate data. And how do you get the accurate data? Like he rightly mentioned, you need certain data to put on the CTN, one of which is the export declaration. In fact, the export declaration is the pivot around which the city and conversation is being had that is the export declaration you do it on the customs platform of the foreign country mm -hmm. now this particular document it is believed that that is the one that is going to deliver the certainty okay so including this you add the invoice and everything onto the city and platform our point of departure is that on the face value, it sounds so good, like you just said, but because there is no backward linkage, that city and platform is not linked to, one, the customs platform upon which you are going to do the declaration. You see, the whole assumption is that when document is delivered here into our hands, it becomes contaminated. Our issue is that if you have identified this problem, by sending the process outside of Ghana, it doesn't cure that mischief. Because no, I, I still, how does it affect? So you are a claim, you are afraid for it. How does having to input information from port of departure, mm -hmm. which the customs say will help them mm -hmm. know two things: the amount of any revenue because of value mm -hmm. and security. How does that affect your work as a? That's exactly work? what I'm coming at. It affects uh, it, it, the, the claim. The claim that once those documents are put on city and outside it delivers a certain sacrosanct environment it is a false claim it is a false claim because when you when you give you, the question you want to ask is who puts the document 
or upload the document onto the city and the post. customs guy there no it is the freight forwarder our there. counter your colleague there. there so you should be happy right no wait wait so you see the the the, the argument is that and that, that that is another false claim that it is made to believe that there is some pre-validation done on the city and platform pre-validation meaning that there is a certain integration but there is none so what are you validating the upload that that freight forwarder is doing on the ctn platform with what are you validating it so is your fear that the freight forwarder in the country of origin like china mm -hmm. will put wrong information which would then affect you when it gets here is that your problem our fear our fear is that this system cannot deliver what it claims but it is being made to look like it is going to deliver what is it, it, it is claiming and at that point we we, we, we kept asking other questions that so because you believe in this arrangement so much how are you going to uh, accept these documents when it comes to Ghana then we are told that when it comes to Ghana customs is also going to do further assessment to either believe that uh, uh, upload outside of the country or not so and then we said that no if this is the value that the CTN is going to give us, then we are going to propose something better. You know, the manifest. The manifest has data elements. That is, the manifest, you know, if, if, if to, to just educate our, our, our viewers, manifest is when you take your mind back to the days of Noah, when Noah was sending the animals onto the ark. We were told in the Bible that he, he, he took account of the animals that is manifest okay now up until now we've been using a very old manifest structure so we what we need to do now is to make the new manifest structure current to be able to take the value take freight and every other description that will write mm. this document okay and that one comes so okay i, I really need to i'm, I'm trying to understand mm how somebody says a system i'm introducing mm -hmm. will do something mm -hmm. and you are saying the system will not do it exactly but you are not showing to me how it's effective or it doesn't do what it says it will do but how does that merit a strike action i don't understand we, we are saying that there are a few legal things that talks about if you don't get it done there there are thing has not been taken to parliament because we know that it is only parliament that can give those sort of powers of we are also I mean, there's already, there's already a law. It has not been uh, uh, abrogated. But so, they don't call it CTN. It's a different name. They call it ASHI. But everything about it, I mean, every all of its deliverables are just like the CTN. It, then. What, what we are saying, Bernard, what we are saying is that everything about the CTN, the claim, aren't, aren't you bothered that what the CTN would deliver in Ghana. It, it cannot do that. Because, you see, there is a case the export. When you do, do, do doing it on the if you a link that could be telling ever As master, is you are trying to keep supported outside. That mischief will be uploaded. Okay. Seems to do. It doesn't do it. <laughs> but you see, you're, you're even struggling to even understand. I don't get it. Well, we want to get this mischief. 
by introducing the CTN electronic uh, cargo tracking note system let the shipper upload those documents from what has cost so much gives of what gives you gives you the container number the size the package it even says stc said to contain so it has even uh, take absorb itself out he says it is said to contain we haven't proved it yet thank you two it gives general overview of the cargo description it says milk if it's an evaporated milk it doesn't say that if it's a powdered milk it doesn't say that The cargo. So if you want customs to on manifest, it won't work. But if customs is telling us that city invoice will give you description of cargo, the unit will be the freight. Let's assume it is even touched as my brother wants to tell us that we don't have a way of confirming what what, they are, what mm. is authentic or not. But cost to before cargo comes in. Telling us that it's Believe that CTN can do what it's supposed to do. Customs is a is an implementing agent. So this is what they are telling. We have it tested, but after consultation, we are part. Does it affect us? The point of view is that President Institute of Freight Forwarders. He thinks they're not a good idea, but his opposite number, or Fosu appear of the freight and trade, is a good thing. And, and as Welcome to another day, another week, and of course, another episode of 30 Minutes. We're excited, and we will be talking about all the training conversation. Spend 30 minutes every week, day, catching up. I just even Skype you. Why are you being so raw and hard like that? But yeah. at the particular time, that's what I want, that's I wanted yeah. to do it. But that doesn't mean you are my enemy. Not sure. We can still meet again and shut up. This time, we are about to do Don't come and do that. You're not said, okay, please, I won't do it. And we'll give respect to each other. But sometimes I feel, you know, when we, we are all humans, when somebody says something about me, shut up, no, 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 no. I might want to say something. Yeah. So, but when I say people should take it like uh, taking things, you know, personal and stuff. I've understood show business now, and I really want to work on it. Like yeah. 30 minutes is all it takes. TV, Stone Boy says so. Keep it locked. Don't log off. <laughs>
Spice up your mornings with culturally enriched conversations, social interviews, and on the program. The reason I was making the point to him that I refrained from being to this Joyce Bauer statement. If some citizens have accused President Mahama of diverting a certain amount of money, deal with that, deny him, and move on with your life. Fridays from 7.30 to 10. Let your voice be heard with the hashtag Breakfast Daily. Join us for Breakfast Daily only on City TV. Welcome back to the point of view. We're talking about the latest controversy at the ports. The freight forwarders have gone on a three day strike. They began today. They say they don't like the CTN system. And that by the guy. Your comments before we come back into the. Uh, good impression that those against the CTN want to. From good I still don't know how because he hasn't seen information or what. A card is happening at the same place the Ghanaian attitude. A Ghanaian generally will for change, but I'm guessing in Ghana, every institution awarded comes under serious crisis. Look now, the recent. How can my blood on the sea? He wants to be official about the sea. The cargo tracking node CTN system took effect on the 1st of July this year. The system has been necessitated by instances of under declaration and evasion by some freight forwarders. Under this system, shipping lines are to provide CTN numbers on all bills of laden. Shippers or forwarders at the various ports of origin are to provide detailed and real-time information on all shipments to Ghana in advance on the global online platform. According to the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, a transition period of two months that from July 1st to September 1st, 2018, has been given after which containers without CTN number could be Commissioner in charge of at the Ghana Revenue Authority. Customs work according to law. Uh, they are assisting us in our way. We are this good the cargo tracking load first is to combat documentary fraud we are battling with uh, documentary fraud in this country importers and the trading public are complaining especially when uh, 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 commercial fraud people who are faking commercial documents invoices way bills Lord, they are all faking it. The city and the the number that will be generated will be quoted on all your and therefore another document. They see that you are the document. With this directive from Threatened to embark on a demolition or scrap the system. At the GRE, Isaac Rental tells it's rather unfortunate that the faithful with this who are in 
the collection of uh, revenue for national center development are issued to it. What, uh, we have engaged the to help. Meanwhile, the first forwarders have described as unfortunate incidents ahead with the cargo tracking notes. Was actually Jessica Ayokoi with that report. Now, afraid for it. The customer idea still need you to explain for you, you and your, your people. It is a problem, Bernard, because all the scenarios of shipment have not been captured. You know, this is a very uh, <coughs> technical issue that normally when you are using it to describe, you don't get it. But there are certain other scenarios of shipment like. Shipment switch bill of lading. The the day we met uh, Honorable Kukukwati in his office, you should have been there. Is that these questions were put, was there? The trans one because the swag, the ship owners association, ship owners and agent association of Ghana actually were in the news on Friday saying that those be addressed have not been addressed you see you look at switch bill of laden trade is such that on the seas somebody can decide to resell and uh, someone also there with commodity even without Inspection. CTN does not uh, destination inspection. When you get to the country, you have to go through the things uh, that are going. The fact being put on it, but it is going to Ghana. It all, all the process. so. When we come at it this way, it is because we know the difficulties as we speak, the difficulties that are inherent in how this thing is being You said to. You said in the report that it will make your business more, as in it will make the cost of doing business go higher. Yes. How does that happen? As we speak, Bernard, we have, we have identified five cost elements. The first one is the cost element because the... of the CTN. Two, the CTN, when they came to town, advertised a certain fee. Mm -hmm. That is a CTN user fee. Three, the shipping line as we speak today have also rearranged their data capturing system to accommodate the endorsement of the tracking note, the mm -hmm. code. That is for four. If, if, if it is not down time the trader the, 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 you know, not forward in, in short like a that you can sit in it once you are able to assess the vessel you have to sometimes wait for weeks okay so these are the dynamics and it, it is sometimes painful when it is just being uh, the conversation is just being had as if everything is ready. The seat on the so to last point to make the, the, the last, last point when the shipper is not able to move cargo because of not have it where if he were going to use the stress system, these are the issues that folks are not addressing. Including other things that, if you allow me, I will mention. So it will one, increase your cost. Because that's one. It is the export customs export declaration. We just outlaws the mandatory reporting in place. When came to the in article. To law 
information or, or require of the trader an import process in the importing country clearly this road that as look at the United something they call Of the ways that you don't use it is to give it to a foreign country as we speak we have forwarders in the united states who are what is this because of this in ghana for us but clearly this not you to just generate here in ghana so these are captured in in general. Uh, Mr. Christian Soti, I, I want to believe that's his name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Cole, the consultant for the CTN, to a of conversation up. You could see so surprise. What there he do come over the it until so you and then the confirm of your what how do you respond? Well, uh, the question of law that yes, where, where is customs uh, taking its mandate from the 1992 constitution article 1. Of customs duties, taxes, and any other rele relevant matter, reaching and collection of duty, if it is, and a trader, the dog, it states here. Just quoting Togo, Togo will tell the shipping. I need a different. So his proposal of, on the manifest will not work. It will not work. But with the C, in which other country is the CTN used? In it is called different, US. different names. Even in Togo, it is called electronic cargo tracking note. The rest don't. Probably they don't have a. Uh, what about everybody, apart from the US? Well, Europe. There is a twenty-four hour rule. If you can Google anything. But it is called it is cargo tracking. So it's it's in, the Europe uses it. The yes, US uses it. Yes. So what's your problem, Bernard? You know that in all of what he said, then it means that there in, in in an act like this, talk a, a, a sub clause under which he says that the member sign. What he just quoted is we study after September without having a. We have a lot of folks who are out are going to be subjected to here. It is what is the haste? All we're asking for is that look, if you want to do this thing, stay put, do it well so that everybody uh, okay. when you have addressed the issue of how is transshipment going to be treated. Okay. How is mm -hmm. the issue of the US not allowing their electronic export information to be used? Mm -hmm. How it is valued by section six? Of this act, the way vehicles must be valued. So even exactly before you agree, did this desire a strike? Did it demand a strike? That since it never came back. In actual fact, we prepared the Commissioner General and Congress mm. that came up with the enhanced. I am not getting the whole argument. I smell something fishy because Nana Pia from Amasaman. Good evening, Bernard. Please ask Kari previously done by DICs. Because CTN has done so abroad. This is Kofi. Bernard, they give people on strike based on hearsay. <laughs> they said it is for few to enrich themselves. That is why they can't explain themselves. I guess the CTN is here to help, but must be done well. 
as I talk to you, due to the way people are under invoicing, most goods imported are suffering now. Or most goods. Okay, there's something from G.I. Oh, um, you have to take a whole lot of documents to your office and get a along the line government to the system mm -hmm. and process your document. Moved on. Mm. Government GRE Customs Division decided that listen, valuation and classifications are core mandate. Mm -hmm. We don't see companies that just leave that documents that we submit to them here. It's genuine. They want to find because I don't believe them. Unemployment already was on the high. Mm -hmm. So if you are in that fight, that we don't understand why. Now we are all providing the services for customs. A private. private. Then has Ghana Shippers Authority in it, and then uh, Ghana Customs itself is also a shareholder. But then there's a private person in there. Mm -hmm. Well, see. All because probably Ghana Customs do not have the uh, technical know-how mm. and the IT. So they do when you launch the. What mm. does it mean? And tell us what does it mean to pre-validate? Mean is that you see a mischief? Mm -hmm. What is the mischief? The mischief trader when he brings his document, it's been uh, doctored. Custom declaration. When you look on our Francis view, Incum Otre Christian says Bernard Atobrakweku says our post model will bring on the Ghanaian importers will it add more items than they claim to have and therefore pay more duties. The questions are many, the answers are few. Mm -hmm. Because there was a report from the long room today for oh, money. Bernard, um, I'm sad. Why do I say this? But uh, let me correct that impression. If you are not, you are out on the field, it doesn't mean you are not working. You can check with GRA and then the finance ministry or even the trade ministry. When you are still paying duties, we don't only pay duty at the long room. The long room is a branch. You can pay your duty. Bank, but if rate for this are not working, how can they declare paying, our goods? You can, you can check, they are paying. But you know the problem would have caused the importer would have accrued the demorage and rent for the import, absorb all this cost for this cost and won't give it to the Ghanaian. Mm. He would eventually add it to the cost of the product and sell it on the you market. You have a final word, you have one minute. I, as I speak to you, I have mentioned be very bare for everybody to see yes. as we speak the ghana union of traders association and other associations the, the the food and beverage but there are genuine concerns on the ground Our president ghana institute of freight forwarders he is against the ctn dennis amphosefa <coughs> watching city tv and good night